Hello everyone, Etiquette Connoisseur. So I want to ask you, what do you believe to be the foundation of the first impression that you give to others when they see you? I'll tell you, it's your grooming. Because for the first maybe four to seven seconds of people seeing us, whether it's close up or far away, they form an impression of you in the first four to seven seconds. Right? Whether it's face to face or across the grocery store, when they see you, they form an impression. So I would say that your grooming is most important if you are concerned about the impression that you give to others. So what would we say is grooming? Grooming is the foundation of how you present yourself. So as a child, I remember my parents made it very important to us to teach us that the very first thing we do when we wake up well it should be after you thank god thank you lord <laughs> it should be to brush your teeth and wash your face right so that's how i grew up and that's what i do to this very day the first thing I do is I go and I brush my teeth and I wash my face. And you see these little things? Sometimes we form little crusties. Washing your face will take care of that, right? That will remove those little crusties that form overnight. Now, there are people who just leave their homes they go out, they get in their cars, and they go and order food without doing these basic grooming things. They may enter a store without having groomed themselves. And I am suggesting to you today, please don't do that. Because when you don't groom yourself, you show that you don't respect yourself and you don't respect others. Think about your hair. Do you wash your hair? Do you brush your hair? I would recommend that you wash your hair maybe once a week. If you don't like to wash it twice or three times a week, once a week. Please don't wait a whole month before washing your hair. It just gets very dirty, very straggly and I'm sure it doesn't smell nice. So, brushing the hair or combing it is very, very important every single day. I mean, I cannot imagine coming out of my room and going any further than the bathroom, right? Because I know that all of us, the first thing we wanna do is relieve ourselves right we want to urinate so you're in there already you might as well wash your face brush your teeth and brush your hair that's a basic i would recommend that you take a shower before you meet with others i do not work outside the home so Sometimes I take a shower in the morning, sometimes not. But if I'm going to be around others, I take a shower. If you're going to the store, you're going to meet friends, you're going out to the supermarket, please take a shower. Uh, moisturize the face. Have a little moisturizer that you put on. Every person needs to moisturize their face. 
boy or girl, man or woman. It keeps the youth and certainly when we're getting older, we want to keep the youth. Have a body lotion that you use to put all over the body, the hands, the arms, the body, the legs, the feet. Certainly focus on the elbows, knees, heels. That keeps it supple and prevents drying out and prevents it from looking uh, you know, older than the rest of the skin on the body. Think about using antiperspirant rather than just deodorant. Deodorant to me doesn't prevent body odor, doesn't prevent uh, perspiration. Hence the name antiperspirant. So, if you use an antiperspirant, it's going to prevent the sweat and the stains. The sweat stains under the arms do not look nice. I see people with very large sweat stains and this can be prevented. Even if you have a challenge of perspiring more than others, you can put on the antiperspirant and they sell those things at the store. I believe it's little pads that people put under their arms so as to absorb the perspiration and prevent the sweat stains. What about perfume? Have a nice perfume or a cologne, guys. And if you cannot afford a perfume or cologne right now surely you can have an inexpensive body spray that you can spray um, it's better to smell like an inexpensive body spray rather than having poor body odor it's just the better choice how do your clothes look? Do you take the time to iron your clothes? I love to iron clothes. And maybe it came from my childhood. I remember that my parents dressed us very well. My mom, of course, was in charge of us, uh, dressing us. And it was my brother first and then five girls. So my four sisters, and then I was last. And he would obviously have shorts and long pants and shirts. And then we had the most sweet little dresses. We dressed in, in dresses mostly. But for play, we had nice little short suits. The shorts and the top to match and everything was ironed. So I cannot ever remember wearing wrinkled clothes. And then there was a certain period in our lives when we had an ironing lady. She used to come to the house to iron the clothes. I don't know if she did the laundry, but I know for sure that she did the ironing for us. Uh, so if you hate ironing or you don't have the time, I would recommend that you hire out the service. Have someone come to your house or maybe take it to them. All the clothes that you're going to wear for the week, you organize the outfits you're going to wear and have them ironed. It's better having t-shirts ironed and put back in the drawer rather than taking it out of the dryer all wrinkled and shoving it into the drawer and then putting it on and you look like a wrinkled mess. Ironing your clothes says 
you respect yourself. You respect how you look. So please pay attention to uh, how you present your clothing. Also, please wear your clothes, men especially, pull up your pants. We do not want to see your backside or your underwear. And ladies, I know there are some ladies who do this when they wear pants. They wear the pants where they show the muffin tops <laughs> and they show the underwear. And that really is not a good look. Ladies, if you have a low decolletage, please pull it up. Or sometimes I wear a nice large rose or flower here to hide. Or you can put a nice bow. You can put on a camisole or a piece of lace you can put right there at the chest and it looks very nice and it hides your cleavage. Now recently I saw in the store a woman, a young woman walking around with all the flesh exposed coming out of the, 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 the blouse and it was so out there in your face that it really didn't look good almost the nipples were coming out and I'm sure if she moved a bit the nipples came out now some ladies think that looks good but really it doesn't any respectable man is not going to be attracted to that look men when they see that they think that you're desperate so you would get negative attention rather than men admiring you so think about that ladies what about the grooming on your hands and your feet please if you cannot afford to go to the salon do it at home surely you can find a nail grooming kit at the store many stores sell them and you can clip your nails file them and smooth them make them really nice now toenails no one should have long toenails no man no woman no child should have long toenails please clip them as short as possible and smooth them take off the ridges from the tops of the nails especially the toenails when they haven't been uh, taken care of for a long time they develop ridges so use the, the file and smooth that out if you can polish ladies do that the hands sometimes you don't like nail polish still use a clear nail polish on your hands clear nail polish is better than no nail polish at all it just makes the nail look smooth and glossy and it prevents your nails from looking very dull and older if you have stains on your clothes please do not wear stained clothing out there i wouldn't recommend that you wear it in the house either just get rid of those clothes surely we have a lot of clothes so we can choose to wear clothes that are stain free free of tearing or holes if you have clothes with holes please get rid of them get rid of them and just use the clothes that are um, nicely uh, looking nice so if you pay attention to your grooming from head to toe I am certain 
that you will be a more respectable person. You will gain respect from others who don't even know you. When you present yourself well, people look at you and they will form a better impression of you in their minds when they see that you took the time to present yourself well by being groomed. Thank you for listening.